<laughs> okay, so Paul asked, come on here, Paul. Paul asked how to get girls. I told him, I said, if you walk into a donut store, if Paul walked into a donut store. See a wheelie, bro. Yeah. You ready? Mm -hmm. Ready. Yeah. All right, so we finally got this thing on the dyno. Last time we dynoed it, I was saying it had 500 horsepower, I think. Um, so we had to replace the speed sensor. Thankfully, it wasn't that hard, but here she is in all of her glory. Check out the mud and the dirt. So I just want to get a baseline number so we know moving forward kind of where we started. Um, and just that way, progressing with the cams and the heads and all the stuff that we're doing in the exhaust, we know what the gains are each and every step. So let's, uh, let's see where she lands. But uh, yeah, let's run it, let it warm up for here for a minute. Also, since we have you guys here, um, a lot of people have complained about this being too narrow. And if you look, this floor is really narrow. So we're gonna fabricate wide floorboards, steel floorboards that are gonna be about this wide. And they're gonna go all the way here and down. And then I'm gonna weld tubing along the side of those floorboards as well. So we'll offer a full um, wider floorboard set up here with some nice holes in it. Uh, and then this tubing as well. After we get that done, then we're gonna work on doing a full underbelly skid plate as well. Um, of course, everything's gonna be made right here. We got two bender plasma cutters, so just in the process of mocking it up, cutting pieces and putting it together, tack welding it. So, should come pretty soon. two runs and the uh, puts us right at 11.4 wheel horse it's pretty consistent 11.4 11.34 11 and 11.49 so 11 and a half wheel horse and uh, 8.5 foot pounds but you can see here it goes and it just dies right at about 68 so this 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 is limited here um, by the bike and we can't we don't really have uh, any options to lengthen this out but you can see the power here is really good it peaks and then it drops off really fast. So in theory, we wanna just carry this out a little bit more to get more speed, raise this out to get it further. Um, because you're not gonna be able to get past this 68 because of how it's how the bike is limited at this point. Right now, all we have to be able to, to gain is basically between here and here, raising this whole curve. Um, but we are working on being able to raise that, that limit. But for now, that's kind of where you're sitting um, with max speed, so. That's, uh, that's three runs, it's really consistent. I think 11.4 is pretty good for what it is. Um, the, uh, this bike has a, a Melosi multibar kit on it, a Melosi clutch, and it drastically helped acceleration. But dead stop, I'd say acceleration is probably 30% better, probably, than stock. The, the, the clutch on these from factory is really foggy, it just doesn't rip and go. So that made a big difference. Um, we have those online, and I'll show you how to put them on. We'll go over here and check out the other cool thing. I have a question. What's that? So I'm noticing there's no key. Where's where's the key to people that don't know anything about these bikes? So yeah, these are basically a, it's just a key fob and you get it close to the bike. Um, and you've got one setting that that's your fuel and seat. So you can click to open the fuel door um, and then the, uh, the seat, just click and the seat opens as well. Which is pretty cool. Look at all that space. Look at lots of room. There's water bottles in there. It looks like a peanut. You put like a 30 pack of beer in there. Oh yeah. PBR. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then 
Yeah, just click it, click it over one more time to the on position, and you can start the bike. If you, if you are, if you do get one of these aluminum cases, uh, keep in mind they have to be really close to the bike. If you don't have it on, um, you can definitely be a little bit further away. But like, if I have this sitting up here on this bike, sometimes it won't let me start it because it's that far. It's, I don't know. I think the sensor may be somewhere in here. I'm not super sure. But uh, yeah, let's go check out the other bike. <laughs> okay, so Paul asked, come out here, Paul. Paul asked how to get girls. I told him, I said, if you walk into a donut store, Paul walked into a donut store, there was a thousand maple bars there, and there was one apple fritter. I said, don't be the maple bar, Paul. You want to be the apple <laughs> fritter. Because girls always are used to men chasing them 24 7. If you're the apple fritter, Paul, and you're not chasing that female around, they'd be more interested in the fritter because there's a bunch of maple bars sitting there, probably stale and old. They're all the same. Well, the real question the fritter, is, Paul. do you want to be the maple bar or do you, you want, want to be the, the apple fritter? Apple fritter? <laughs> I think I want to be the fritter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you get what I'm saying? They're used to guys chasing them around, calling them whatever. 24-7, that's what most girls are used to that, right? They're used to the maple bars of the world. Yeah, I want to be the apple fritter. Do you want to be the apple out. fritter that stands out? Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you went in a restaurant, a donut store, and you saw all those maple bars, one fritter. Maybe Paul just wants to be the, the maple bar that you add bacon on top. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta be totally different. You can't be the same thing with something extra on top. You have to be a completely different donut. It's totally different. The shape, the size, yep. the size, <laughs> the shape. The density is all different, Paul. So you want to be the apple fritter, apple fritter in the world of maple bars. Take it from the married man himself. 20, I've been with my wife for a long time, I know. 20, 20, 20 years. You know how long I've been with my so this is the only um, X80 V750 that I know of um, in the United States. Oddly enough, this popped up on Craigslist and, uh, and I messaged the guy, asked him some questions about it, and oddly enough, he decided to bring it here to, for some work. So it's got an injector, fuel injector code, I think, and um, Honda won't touch it because it's not in their system, but super cool. I've never seen one in person, see them side by side, it's really neat. They share a lot of the same. The seat's almost the same, the center area is the same. Um, even the clusters is very similar, but really cool bike, and this is a 750. It's, it's a motorcycle, it's not a scooter, it just kind of looks like a scooter. Yeah, it's really cool, I want one. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try to pull some codes off for this guy, some fuel injector codes, but sounds pretty good. I wonder, actually, I don't know if that was because I was walked away from it or if that was what it does. Not curious to see. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. It's got a healthy horn. This is cool. Yeah, it was like drive, neutral. Yeah, so not our bike, it's a customer's bike, but really, really neat to see this thing here um, next to the ADV, because most people haven't seen one of these, let alone next to the ADV uh, 150. But yeah, same kind of on the 150, it's got the same kind of design um, for this uh, windscreen up here as well. I want one, but uh, they're like 10 grand for a used one. So a lot of my price range. Wow, not as I was expecting, because it grew up that far either.
Yeah, give her a couple revs. <laughs> it's a real hard job, huh, Patrick? <laughs> yeah, really. All right, see. Yeah, the skid plate's gonna come all the way back here and it's gonna curve up on the sides and match the same profile. It's a pretty clever way on how to do an exhaust. Some Harbor Freight straps and a couple strong guys to lift her up. Yeah, yeah, I have ruckus variators. Give me that. Yeah, but you give me that. Uh, they're 95 bucks. Oh, hell no, man. Come on, man. Get this guy back, man. Uh, yeah, but you give me that. 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 I, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down there, but I can't do a discount right now just because the euro is so high. You want one of those bulls like that, man? Oh, I do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking grab it. Hey, that's not nice. <laughs>